Will you pick up a PS5 Pro or a Slim in the near future? Let's get into it. Hey, what is going on all my chill gamers? You know, I just want to say thank you all for watching my content. It's been a, a great ride these last few years, and I just touched on gaming news and stuff like these kind of videos for the last year and a half. So I just want to say thank you guys for the likes, the shares, the comments, the subs. It really means a lot. So in my last video, I was talking about Red Dead Redemption. You know, everybody you know was kind of going to pickle on that because, you know, it, it came out that Rockstar was just porting over the game in 4K30. Okay, I get it. I appreciate the, you know, the resolution bump, but we could have used 60 FPS. I heard that Fallout 3 was actually coming 4K 60 FPS. I think that's kind of cool because that's what we need in these consoles. I want to utilize the power of these consoles on Series X and PS5, you know, because I feel like it's fair enough. We're three years in and I feel like where are we right now in this new generation consoles? I, I feel like they're not really utilizing their full potential. And I know it takes a while to create games, and I'm not saying that they're not trying to use it. But let's be realistic. Remnant 2 came out. They're using their, the Unreal Engine 5 that, you know, the game looks great. It's not God of War quality or Horizon Forbidden West quality, anything like that. Okay, I'm just, these are the two games that top off, like, right off my head. So I just want to talk about the PlayStation 5 Pro and what can we expect. And there's actually pretty decent leaks out here. And I think in performance-wise, it's definitely a little boost. I wouldn't say little, it's probably a, a nice jump. Not a major overhaul jump, but a nice performance boost. But I do believe that the performance will be better on the PS5 Pro, and I hope it is. Obviously, it's going to be, right? So right now, we have the PlayStation 5 going in three years in, right? And I I like Sony, how they got 4K60 for us in almost every game they released, or every game they did release. They had a... 60 fps performance mode and i think i appreciate that um but are they really using the full power of the playstation 5 can it can playstation 5 really run in upscaled 4k 120 fps first party games i don't know with vr help and all that stuff they can dabble into it but i really feel the ps5 pro might be pushing that boundary the new you know they're, they're pushing for ray tracing and i hope that the playstation 5 comes out with like 60 fps quality mobile ray tracing um, I think in this performance mode, they might be able to do that. I don't know yet. Uh, only time will tell when it actually comes out. But let's take a look at what Game Rant has to say. In this, and I thought it was kind of interesting. Again, it's not a major jump in performance, but it is somewhat of a, a little jump or medium. I would say a little to medium jump. According to, to the Key Gaming, the PS5 Pro console codename Trinity, the PlayStation 5 Pro from Game Rant says it's codename Trinity. By late November 2023, the report states that the PS5 Pro will have 30 GP. I don't know if you guys know what 30 GP is, but it is work group processors. Okay. For example, PS5 has 27, I believe, at two, two compute units. Now the PS5 Pro will have 30. I think that's pretty dope. It went up a little bit. And 18,000 it mts mega transfers per second memory with consistent fps at 4k resolution the ability to display 8k resolution i think that's pretty dope i'm not hating on sony like that but i say that from the base ps5 we have eight chips at two gigabyte ram 16 gigabit total for g ddr5 or six rather i'm sorry 14 megahertz 14,000 megahertz rather and i think that's kind of cool for the performance of the ps5 i'm at this point right now i'm really happy with it but at the same time the playstation 5 pro will add 18,000 mts's mega transfers per second at 30 work group processors so i think and that's that's from 54 compute units bumped up to 60 compute units that's a nice little little bump you know with 4,000 megahertz more for speed and performance i think that's pretty decent for mid-gen uh refresh now i don't know about teraflops they might leave it the way it is 10 10.23 total if it goes up to 12 that'll be nice i believe it should you know give, give that little wiggle room there i think we could use some a little bit more power a little bit more juice i thought it was gonna be like 18 gig ram i don't know they might just keep it at 16 gigabits and just bump up the performance but i will say that i'm really excited for a ps5 pro because i'm i always try to get the best of the best of something like if i got the, i already had the ps4 base and i went to ps4 pro and i thought you know in the beginning of that situation i thought we were gonna have 1080p 60 on that but obviously we didn't only time would tell what the ps5 can do and i'm really excited for it
because I, I want to see more performance in these consoles. Is it too much to ask to have a 120 FPS mode? I don't think that we're going to be able to do that in pure native 4K. Let's be real. It's a console. It's not a PC. A lot of RTX cards can't even do 4K 120. I don't even think mine can. I have RTX 3070. I, don't, I think I, I can probably do... I'm playing... I was Real quick, I was playing Remnant 2 and I was playing an Ultra with DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampler on. Uh, performance and uh, i was getting 4k 80 to 100 frames so yeah if my pc who with that has like 20 odd teraflops in it and i have 32 gig ram and only time would tell how much ps5 pro performance will be will there be a slim i mean do we really need one i mean i think that digital could be a slim I, you know what i mean like it, i hope they they don't make a slim and simmer down the, the specs of the playstation 5 base i think that um well, you know, with technology changes, you know, they can make things smaller and still have the same spec. But I really think that the PlayStation 5 Pro is needed. I don't think this PlayStation 5 is going to keep up with the games that they're trying to do. I think they have to sacrifice a lot, you know, with frames and graphics and stuff like that. It's always either a quality mode or performance mode. We never have both together. And I'm not saying the PS5 Pro can, can do that. I, I don't know yet, but they're aiming for more ray tracing and enhancements with performance. So we might be able to get 4K60 with ray tracing. I think they can pull that off. Now, at the same time, let's say they do do that. Are we going to get a performance mode 1440p at 120? See, that's the key. I would I want that too. I want an option to have that capability. Now, it's going to go 1080, 1080p. I, I will say on my monitor 1080p ultra on pc looks okay um doable but it is kind of you know blurred out a little bit you, you can definitely tell the difference there I, I will shout out to rune uh he was telling me that i was like you know my buddy cowboy had a 2060 um laptop gaming laptop and i thought he had a 2080 or something like that and nope he had a 2060 and he can't even do 4k 60 like that so it is what it is but moving forward i i hope i hope that the sony when they come out with the playstation 5 pro by next year they'll probably have a trailer or an announcement showcase whatever talking about the specs like they did with the ps4 pro and hopefully they can do the 4k performance mode or 4k quality mode ray tracing with 60 fps that'll be icing on the cake i think i think 60 fps is just fine i think that's the standard it should be on these consoles i mean they are really powerful series x2 uh we got to see more 60 fps modes on series x games first party stuff i think that i think those gamers deserve that and only time would tell how much the places 5 pro power can do um i heard that's going to be releasing uh later next year fall or winter of 2024 for the holiday season i don't know don't call me that's it's, it's out there for everybody to see but anyway guys it's going to be doing it for me um will you be getting a ps5 pro when it launches i know i will because i want the better version of the playstation i want my better experience Anyway, guys, stay chill and happy gaming. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Okay, guys, before we get out of here, I just wanted to say I will be live streaming on this channel um, every weekend, one, at least one day a week moving forward. I, I, I really want to show you guys what I'm playing and really get to know you guys, my fans or subscribers, and we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe even do a show together and let me know your gaming experience. I think it's really cool to meet new people and have talk gaming and what you guys been going through with gaming what kind of games you guys been playing what's what kind of experiences are you having with these games and are you excited for the mid-gen upgrades let me know and watch out for the live streams i do podcasts probably every week every two weeks and i want to do start streaming gaming stuff on here and you guys can chime in and chat and stuff like that we'll have a lot of fun here guys but anyway again stay tuned happy gaming see you all in the next one peace